The Biennial is the Bermuda National Gallery's flagship exhibition. It's unique in that it is a juried exhibition. Uh, it does have a theme, but it really strives to capture the zeitgeist of the moment. Looking back at the last two years, um, it's been a time of seismic change, locally and internationally, um, whether it be the pandemic, whether you have social justice movements, whether you have a, a really invigorated focus on the climate, uh, or whether you just have people who have been stuck inside, locked down, really managing this, this uh, singular, unifying kind of event of the pandemic. I think that we've covered a range of themes and um, experiences of the artists and it's a true reflection of the Bermuda culture, landscape, and, and current sort of concerns that artists across the world have at this moment. I think the work is very focused on sort of, on kind of what Bermuda is and what Bermuda represents to people, um, but that uh, takes various forms. This year's theme was a new vocabulary, past, present, future. The work is open to all visual mediums. That includes performance, painting, sculpture, and everything in between. We also decided to open it up to poetry, which was an exciting shift for us. And we have some really great poets who submitted work and we're really pleased with how that went. A mere sliver of its former 21 square miles, Bermuda. And furthermore, we added an additional juror to accommodate that section of the exhibition, and that is Richard Georges, who is the Poet Laureate of the British Virgin Islands. Poetry does have an obsession, you know, going back to uh, Keats and the, the Grecian urn, of speaking to visual art. So I think it's only fitting to create a contemporary space where the image and the word are, are both types of iconography, where those two different, very different languages can be in conversation, I think, creates more potential, more opportunity for creation. I think there was a lot of searching for reframing history in more contemporary ways, even if they're trading and dealing with issues of the past. Exactly who do I ask for access when I knock from the inside? Anytime someone responds to a theme, you find and a broadening of the community's understanding that the art brings to them. So I, I think when you see the visual work, you have a, a very different experience than when you read the poetry. Tied her to a stake to be burnt with fire till dead. I think biennials in general are an important concept because it allows the sort of public to experience a, a sort of comprehensive view of what is happening in artist studios right now. I think it is a sort of important culminating uh, exhibition to, to have in different countries across the world and really allows you to see that um, there are more commonalities across countries and cultures than we realize. I think that they are a moment for uh, people to sort of stop, take stock, um, get a sense of, of what is happening in this moment. And then when you look back at previous biennials, you can really trace kind of how themes have developed and changed and how they have remained the same. So I think it's a great way for people in a certain place to kind of understand, well, what is important to, the, to this place in this moment. The goal for the biennial is that it is a national platform uh, for artists locally and also just gets your work in front of world-class jurors, curators, um, directors, people involved in the, in the art world um, who are persons of significance and can really sort of help and support uh, an artist's work. So our goal is to really try and help artists um, develop their work and, and, and expand their sphere of influence as much as we can.